follow the purity law, it means you can't take any shortcuts. Basically, you use the natural product and beer comes out as a natural product. We can't add just special chemicals to make it happen faster. We have to do it right the first time. So the brewing process basically starts with our malt. That's what we have right here in front of me. What we're gonna do is we're gonna just mill it. We're gonna crush it up. The starches inside can be attached from enzymes in the mashing process. And basically what we're doing is converting starch into sugar. So uh, basically this is still a very hands-on process. In larger breweries, we'd have a big mixer in the inside. We wouldn't have to do this manual labor. Personally, I kind of like it. Here at West, you get a burger slush, and it keeps you fit. produce a quality beer, you need to know what your fermentation is doing, you need to know what the specific gravity is, how quickly that's changing, you also want to know the temperature you're at. This is the quality control part of the process, this is what we do to make sure that West Beer is West Beer, you know, it's the highest quality it can be and it's going to taste like you're expected to taste. What makes West Beer different is, you know, the whole thing overall. I think it's the process we have here being, you know, unique in its nature. It's the people that are working here as well, the location and the customers. I'm German trained and we have German equipment. So with a combination of science, creativity and a lot of hard work, it's nice that at the end of the day, I'm really proud of what I produced. And it's something I can share and other people can enjoy.